What's up, guys? Paulie Malanaji of Apoli TV. Janabek Alonconuli returns and takes on Vincenzo Gualtieri in a middleweight unification that's kind of flowing below the radar. And I'll tell you why. That is, as the middleweight division is sort of in a bit of a lull, a bit of a dud time right now, uh, looking for a star, looking for somebody to really stand out and, and, and grab the bull by the horns. We've had the unif middleweight, the middleweight division in the past and even up until more recently had a lot of top talent, but they've all left. Some have retired, it looks like, like, uh, Gennady Golovkin. Some have been inactive, like Jamal Charlo. Some have moved up in weight. Guys like, uh, Daniel Jacobs, uh, uh Caleb Plant, uh, Canelo Alvarez, obviously. So the middleweight division is sort of, uh, open pastures right now, man. You know, we, it's a it's a weight class that still has world championships available uh, as far as up for grabs, as far as not, nobody really has taken the bull by the horns in the weight class. And so this is an example of this, this unification fight tonight where two guys who don't have a big amount of notoriety. Obviously, Janabek does a little bit being with top rank and having fought on ESPN. But uh, Gualtieri is a guy who's a, he was an Italian uh, background of uh, born in Germany. Uh, a lot of Italians uh, did immigrate to Germany, so you you will see some of those guys. Uh, and in boxing, we've also seen Francesco Pianetta, who is a, a Tyson Fury opponent, also uh, be one of those guys as well. Gualtieri was able to pick up the uh, vacant IBF uh, middleweight title against uh, Esquivel. I don't know which Esquivel brother it was, but he was uh, the top rank. It was, it was on a top. It was a top rank fighter, and he was able to win on points. And what I saw from Gualtieri, he's a decent boxer, decent technique. Um, you know, moves around, gives you the, the technical, a little bit of technical boxing, but. I noticed there's not a lot of punching in between, not a lot of counter punching. He's sort of a your turn, my turn, what I describe fighters like that. It's a your turn, my turn kind of guy in that he doesn't punch a lot in between you. He's either in full defensive mode when you're swinging at him or he's going at you uh, when he when when he's attacking you. His opponent, Esquivel, in that fight also was uh, sort of a your turn, my turn guy. So it was almost like they took turns punching. Every once in a while, you'd get somebody make an attempt to punch in between. But when you get your turn, my turn fighters, very rarely are they good enough to win World Championships. So Gualtieri, I noticed, um, is was a guy who in that fight when he was had an opponent who was sort of with it with the same mentality as him, took charge a little bit more. When you're your turn, my fight, my turn fighter, and you're fighting a your turn, my fight, my turn type of fighter, all you gotta do is be first more often, and you'll win the fight. When you fight a guy who can punch in between you, a guy who knows how to counter punch, a guy who can uh, punch in between your combinations, now be, now being first isn't always the case. Now you've got to kind of faint, you've got to use a little bit of deception because you may be first so often, you may walk into some shots that uh, uh, from the opponent who knows how to walk you into punches, and then from there you'll kind of get gun shy and he'll be able to take charge. So it gets a little bit more tricky, a little bit more, more complicated when there's punching in between you. From what I noticed with Galtieri is, Galtieri is not a lot of ability to do that. He does have his hands in good position. He's a well-balanced boxer. He moves around. Not the fastest feet, but he's a mover uh, to a degree. A technical boxer, but doesn't have like that high, high, high level of boxing. And then with Janabek, I, I think the, I think the, the jury's still out on Janabek. You know, uh, he's he's looked decent at times, pretty good even at times, and then at times he's left you wondering uh, why there's a lot of hype on this guy. Uh, he's changed trainers. He's gone from Buddy McGirt to Brian Valoria. Valoria was uh, an excellent, uh, uh, both amateur and professional, as he won a world championship, as well as having been a, an Olympian, a U.S. Olympian in the year 2000 at the Sydney Games. Also was an amateur world champion in, in 1999, uh, was Valoria. So Valoria has a lot of background uh, and, and definitely has the knowledge to be training a guy like Alan Canuli. And Alan Canoli is still, again, this, the jury's still out on him. I think he's sort of, sort of been an enigma where he, you can see the talent is there. You can see he has the capabilities to be very good, even punch well. And his last, uh, last win, he had a, a sensational knockout of a, uh, the Canadian butler. But then at times, like the fight before that, he kind of looks like a dud where you're like, how's there so much hype on this guy? So I think that the trick for Alan Canoli is really to show consistency. He can punch in between you. He can put pressure on you. He does show a, a good transition between a, a offense and defense and defense to offense and he's a good technical boxer so I, I, I would expect him to be able to show a little bit more degrees in this in this fight tonight against against Gualtieri there's a curiosity about Gualtieri because again we don't know a lot about him but at the same time somebody has a chance tonight to grab the bull by the horns and really make a name for themselves in the middleweight division in a, a, a weight division that's really starving for name recognition you know possibly maybe we'll get Jamel Charlo to stay here after the super middleweight law dud that he put up against uh, a Canelo Alvarez, and that would at least bring some sort of a name recognition to the weight class, but there's not a lot of money flowing in this weight class, there's not a lot of big names are in the weight class, so it's still up for grabs, a middleweight world title unification tonight between Alam Canuli against Gualtieri, probably the least 
uh, hyped up unification match I've ever heard of, man. I mean, this is the WBO IBF World Championship unification. Let's see what happens tonight. Let's see if Al Al Kanuli can sort of come out of that shell and look consistently good like he did in his last fight and get a sensational win tonight. Or if Gautieri becomes a new kid on the block in the middleweight division and maybe cements himself with a nice upset over a guy like Al Kanuli. I'm Paulie Malaraji. This is Paulie TV.